Hey everyone, Sykes in here. Happy Peak Fiction Sunday. <laughs> Today, I'll be watching Mushigo Tensei Season 2, Episode 16. The long await is finally over from the previous week. Redrude is finally back into the story. And above all, the thing I'm looking forward to most this episode is the interaction between Redrude and Rudeus. How that reunion is going to be. What are they going to talk about? And there is just so much that the two need to catch up on with each other. So that is what I'm looking forward to most. I know it's going to most likely center around Norn and Aisha, given the title, quite literally, of this episode. But, and that'll also be a great integration as well, but... Rejord, I mean, we haven't seen Rejord in so long, it's... Anyway, I'm about to dive into today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe button, join the Rose Guild today, and without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> it's been a, it's, it, has, it has been a long time. It has been a long time. Just like how Ryu escorted Eris and Rudius back up to the Sur Kingdom. Yes, please tell us. Where have you been? The Southern Jungles? Ginger. That sounds familiar. She was... Yes, in episode 19 and 20. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. It took me a while to realize that's why she was so frightened. Okay, now we have the reader update. Is Rudy just going to update? There it is. There it is. そこ。エリスは決してお前が嫌いになったわけではないだろう。でも釣り合いが取れないって言ってました。シーンは分からん。言葉通りなのか。それともお前が勘違いしているのかもしれん。勘違いですか。別の意味があったってことか。いや。he, I mean, he really, he really did. Obviously, Rudius thought that the worst case scenario of why Eris left him. Exactly, yep, I, I knew it. I knew he wasn't going to stay very long. No, Rudy, you can stay. You're not intruding. You're not intruding. You'll be back. Okay, okay. So not necessarily he'll be looking for Eris, but he'll be on the, the lookout for her if he does happen to run into her. So it's the next morning. Rudyard's probably already gone. That's probably Rudyard leaping off into the night. No, I'm kidding. You gotta be kidding me! I was only kidding! Something so outlandish that might happen. Bodyguardi encounters Reader. No way. Wow. He won't fight him. I was... <laughs> this is close. But I hope they explain that history between each other. Yeah, stay for breakfast. The longer he's in this episode, the happier I'll be. And with Reedrew's design, it, I mean, animation-wise, it looks just like his design from Season 1. Like, just the movements, everything about it. It's a season one nostalgia. ルイジェルドさんもお元気で。愛者。あまりルーデウスの無茶を言うんじゃないぞ。はい。分かってます。ルイジェルドさん。安心しろ。また会える。私も一緒に行きたいです。What? I didn't expect her to say that. Just, just to get away from Rudius? Is, is that why? 
It isn't the same as last time because Sylvia has white hair now? Or because she is not heiress? Till next time. Until we meet again. Because it would be embarrassing when we met again. Seven minutes in the episode, Reader's already gone. <laughs> yeah, she's older than Norn. Oh, what Paul? What would Paul give? What is this? It's a full chest. Wow. And they're going to school. <laughs> Aisha is probably too smart for her level of grading grade school. <sighs> yes, the dead end. Signature headband. Now, should Norn be pretty proficient in magic? Because Zenith was an S rank adventurer in magic, or she was a mage. I mean, to be fair, the mana disaster did inhibit her growth most likely because she didn't never really went to school. So, I mean, it's amazing how much Aisha respects Rudius. Just, well, it's not amazing. It makes total sense. Agreed. Because she's always had someone to, to depend on. And it was either Paul or then it was Rieger. And she doesn't trust Rudius at all. She's almost like Mr. Look at that, working together. She got a perfect score. That's what she was holding up in the PV. She got a perfect score on the magic exam, entrance exam test. I worry that's so bad. But, wow. And Norn. She really wants to get away with away from Rudius. And Rudius knows this, so. But now Aisha's gonna be. Yeah, it, it's gonna be whole. Oh, that's what she's thinking. That's not the case, but that's what she's thinking. Norn's grandma. That's true, he is. He really is. I can see how Aisha's taking it that way, though. Norn's got the soulless eyes, just... Oh wow, is it already spring? Did we already get- we got another time skip it looks like. She really's got the soul of size going. 
If I was Rudis, I would have somebody that lives in the dorms that he knows probably watch after. Maybe Zenoba, just making sure he's doing okay. Or Cliff, I'd trust both of them, both the bros. I wonder how old Norn and Aisha are now. Because Rudis is what, 16 or 17, right? How they run into each other at school. Oh, but she's not extremely social. That makes sense. I can only imagine what this is going to be here. I, it's it's going to be something outlandish. Oh boy. Oh no. Feels soft. What is going on? Huh? Oh no. Yep。Listen, this was not Rudy's is doing here. This was not his intention whatsoever. He did not command them of the sort. But poor Sylvia thinking her husband is just an absolute just decrepit guy. And this is the stuff that I just can't predict. I mean, how how am I supposed to know this was going to happen? She said out loud. <laughs> シルビーとあれだけ激しい夜を過ごしているというのに、他の女にもさ、アリエル王女の手で被害者のもとに返しておいてください。はい、確かに。Will she though? Will she? I hope she will, because I and they know they downgrade uh, Ariel's personality very much in the anime compared to the light novel. Hey, this is the first time. You get to meet Cousin Luke as well. It's a beautiful campus. I wonder where they took the inspiration from for the design. Yes, please, please scold them for what their actions have done. So Norn's trailing behind the other students in the background. <laughs> Nuni. <laughs> the, the expression, the, the sudden change. And there's the running, her running away panel that we saw, so... Obviously she doesn't try to run away from Rudeus, she just wants her own space and... she not going to classes anymore? Oh, there might be a scenario where she just confides herself in her room from now on. Yeah. It looks like she kind of has the same eyes Rudeus did. Episode 16, Norn and Aisha. Kind of like the exact, no end credit scene. Um, I actually can foresee this. I'll talk about it a little bit more in my prediction once I 
maybe rewatch the episode again. But it, she could go down the same path Rudius did in Core One, where she, where Rudius quite literally went through that depression era. Um, obviously, with Nora to be a much different scenario with than Rudius is, but for Nora, she's likely feeling alone, lost. She doesn't know what path to really take her life in or which direction she wants to go, because the man disaster took away from her family. All she had left was Paul to depend on. And that was the way Paul was taking care of her for years post everything happening. She didn't get to go to school. She didn't get to mingle or socialize with anybody. And that is why she's also not the best talker or the best. She doesn't really know how to develop relationships, honestly. I feel for Norn. I do, you know. It's going to be a scenario where Rudy's is going to try to help her go past the point where she's no longer depressed. Similar like how he was helped by Soldat. So yeah. My older brother's feelings. Okay. I have a feeling that I know where I'm going to start my prediction for this next one as well.